Today I am going to solve the 15 marks scenario based question that was given in the February March 2023 exam of the variant 0478 by 22. As you know that it is a little bit challenging to solve this 15 marks question. So it is uh, it's good to understand the main uh, points and then solve it. First of all, you have to declare a one dimensional array named team name which contains the names of teams in a sports league. Uh, you are going to declare one such array like this, one such array like this, uh, and its name should be team name. Secondly, you are required to declare a two-dimensional array, and its name should be team points. And uh, it should contain the points awarded for each match. So uh, you will be uh, having a counter that will be starting from posi position number one and it will go till the number of teams or match counter will start from one and it will go till the uh, number of matches and the name of this whole 2d array will be team points this array will say uh, take uh, the first and the this array will take the name of the first team and it will save the uh, uh, points of individual matches for the uh, for that first team first match second match third match fourth match and then it will calculate the total points for that team in the end it will be calculated that which team has got the uh, maximum points and which team is the has scored more points um, now let's again go to the question uh, for uh, the position of each team's data in two arrays is the same. As you have, you can see it over here, team counter is the variable which is pointing to the team name and it, team counter is the same variable which is pointing to the same, uh, the points of the same team. So the same variable will be used to point to uh, all the locations of the same team. For example, the team stored at index 10 in team name and team point team points is the same as you can see it over here uh, if some team is at location 10 its total points should also be at location 10 and it's all individual points of matches should also be at location 10 the variable league size contains the number of teams in the league which is already told to you that it will contain the number of um, members uh, number of teams the variable match number will tell about will contain the number of matches that have been played which is the same for all teams which will be the same for all teams the as in the arrays and variables have already been set up and the data has already been been stored so everything is done for you each match can be played at home or away points should will be recorded as follows uh, if the match will be played away from home, it will be given to three points. If the match will be won at uh, home uh, in, at the same place, it uh, will be rewarded two points. For a drawn match, the team will get one point. For a lost match, it, the team will get zero point. So these are four constants. Now you, in the board, you have to write the point, uh, a program that will calculate the total points for all matches played for each team. It means that the, uh, what the program will do, it will take the first team, it will calculate the all, um, all the points of that team and it will be, uh, the points will be saved in total points. Then counts the total number of away wins, home wins, drawn matches and lost matches for each team. Uh, so the number of away wins, home wins, drawn matches and lost matches will be uh, will all uh, will be uh, recorded over here in these variables um, and uh, they will be recorded for all individual teams um, outputs for each team in the end output uh, is done in the end uh, the name of uh, the team will be output its total points will be output Total number of away wins and home wins and drawn matches and lost matches will be shown. And then in, uh, in the end, and one more thing will be done, finds and outputs the name of the team with the highest total points. The team that will get the, uh, uh, the highest, the team with the highest points will also 
will also be displayed and the team with the highest points will be displayed in the end and the team with the lowest points will be displayed in the end you must use a pseudocode or a program code add comments adding of comments is very important and these comments carry marks you do not need its variables or constants you only assume that this has already been done these should not be initialized team name stream points and these should not be initialized declared and, and these should not be initialized the size match number they have been assumed to be already initialized so you need to initialize the declare the rest of the variables and uh, constants thank you